Now, when a function is given to you, you can plot that function on a graph. How can you do that? You give some inputs to the function, get out certain outputs, and finally mark this input and output in the graph and finally get a curve. Check whether this curve is continuous or not. If the curve is continuous, then the function is said to be continuous. If the curve is not continuous, then the function is said to be discontinuous. Now let me take an example. I have a curve over here, or rather I have a graph over here where the outputs are plotted along the y-axis and inputs are plotted along the x-axis. When I plot the graph, I get this curve which is continuous and name this curve as y is equal to f of x. As there are no breaks at all, thus this function y is equal to f of x is continuous. Let me take another graph where I plot the output along y-axis and input along the x-axis. I get a curve over here again, but this curve is not continuous. You can see there is some discontinuity in the curve, right? At certain points, there is no curve at all. Thus, the function is said to be discontinuous function. This is how you find whether a function is continuous or not. Mathematics gives you an option where you can directly find whether a function is continuous or not at a point using certain formulas. Let us see what are those formulas and easily find the continuity of a function at a given point. Now think you have to find the continuity of a function at a certain point x is equal to a. So what you do is you first draw this graph and in order to find the continuity at this point a, you approach this point from the left hand side as well as from the right hand side of the point and see if you are able to approach the point. If you are not able to approach the point, it means to say there is some cut in the curve, therefore the curve is discontinuous, right? One more thing that you should be noting over here is that if you are approaching from the left hand side and right hand side, it does not mean from the farthest point. It means to say that if you want to approach A, let us take A is equal to 3. When you are approaching from the left hand side, you are approaching from maybe 2.99999 somewhere from that and approaching 3 and when you're approaching from right hand side you're approaching from 3.0001 and coming back to 3 again this is how you approach it if you have not understood this let us take a lively example and understand it even more clearly now you're playing a game in this game you'll have to enter a house so you can come from the right hand side and enter into the house because there is a road in the right hand side you can come from the left hand side and approach the house again because there is a road in the left hand side as well or else you take a helicopter and directly jump into the house itself from on the terrace and get into the house. These are the three ways you can get into the house, right? Now let us take an example where one of the way is cut, meaning to say you are entering into a house at the rightmost corner. So there is no right hand road at all. Therefore you cannot approach the house from the right hand side. The only way you can approach is from the left hand side or from top of the house. Next, let us take a house which is at the left corner. Then you cannot approach the house from the left hand side, right? Because there is no road at all to approach the house from the left hand side. You should either approach from the right hand side or from the top. Now let us take one more example where there is a shed on the terrace. So you can approach the house from the left hand side, right hand side, but you cannot approach the house from the helicopter because when you jump into the house, you will land on the shed. Again, you can't enter into the house, right? So you're not able to approach the house in certain or the other ways. Similarly, if you just take this house as a point, then for a function to be a continuous, you should be able to approach this point from any side or from top as well. Then such a function is said to be continuous at that particular point.